so, but you know, this is like, yeah, I, we have a dairy, you know, again, the Georgia dairy. It's at like John, John Georgia. It's at like Broad Street. What are the dairy called? Is it Gibson's? Yeah, we're yeah. right across the street. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I know my husband used to go to Gibson's too. Yeah. So you guys are right across the street. Yeah, we'll go to the Results in our Jersey four-year-old class. First place goes to Nathan Chug on BC, Tobiva Goldie. Second to Sheila Sherwood, Cedar Ridge Farm. Third to Harris Caravan on Carmel. And fourth to Eric Evans on Supreme View, Killer Bay. Four nice cows here in our four-year-old class, but a handy winner, a cow that has an advantage over a cow in second today. Just so much more height weight to that mammary system. Our cow in second over the cow in third. I prefer this cow on the floor over udder. A cow maybe not as full of milk as the other cows, but just prefer that udder texture, the floor over udder. She's a little dairy cow. She has an ex advantage in her dairiness all the way through the depth, through her rear rib, and the way she carries her udder a little higher up above her hock. Then our cow coming out in third. The third place cow over the cow in fourth. A cow that showed me more depth, openness to her rib today than a really well-balanced cow in fourth. Thank you. Results in our Holstein five-year-old class. First place to Double Tree Dairy on Double Tree Gold Kelly. Second to Pappy's Farms on Pappy's Outlook Thelma. And third, 
Double Tree Dairy on Montague, Dempsey, Pandora. Congratulations. <laughs> Three different cows here in our five-year-old class, but three beautiful cows in their own right. Our cow in first one in the class for me quite handily, a cow that's balanced in her frame up further away. She blends in her parts. This cow's getting along in her lactation milk in about a year, but it is that strength all the way through or her levelness of the floor of her udder, her length to her fore udder, and it carries her over our big black cow in second. Second place cow over the cow in third. A cow just moving around the ring a little more comfortably today. Prefer the way she flexes her hawk and just walks around her udder a little nicer than our big black cow coming out here in third. Thank you. Big contract. No. 
Nice tonight. They better do it. They will do it tonight. It may be trouble going back. Yeah. Siri. Results in our Jersey five year class. First place stays in check on DC, Venable Sassy, and second in Delvin Western Guard on BWJ, Blackstone, and Hawaii JC. Congratulations, Jeff Black. 2 nice cows here in our Jersey 5 year old class, but our cow in first just today has an advantage in that mammary system. Snugger of her attachments, higher and wider that rear rudder today, showing us a little more strength to her line than another beautiful dairy cow here for second. Thank you.
Results in our Holstein H Cow class, first place to Harris Durland on Jazzy. Second, Utah State University on Utah Windbrook Eclipse. Third, 
to John Conrad on SDL Gold Sun Divinity, four to Pappy's Farms on Pappy's Emphasis Velvet, and fifth is to Utah State University on UTAG Effort Chinsey. Five really nice age cows here in our Holstein age cow class. Let's actually give these five cows a round of applause. Tremendous group top to bottom. Some different shapes, different sizes, again, stages of lactation. But for me, a cow, maybe not the biggest cow in the class, but a cow that's the freest to fall. A cow that has an advantage over the cow in second. She just carries her rear udder a little higher. She's a little dairy, a little silkier all the way through. Then this really well-made cow here coming out in second. A similarly made cow here, the second place cow over the cow in third. Again, as I told the young man leading this cow in third, I just prefer the way this cow moves around the ring a little freer. I prefer down through the her foot, prefer that size and shape to her teeth, the shape of her udder, especially through the floor of her udder, and her definition of crease to carry over our big frame cow here coming out in third. Third place cow over the cow in fourth, a cow that does have an advantage in that width to her mammary system. She's so much more cow as well, length, width, depth all the way through. Our black cow coming out in fourth over our older cow coming in fifth. The cow just today showing us a little more dairiness, angularity, femininity all the way through, and a really snug udder down. Six calf cow here coming out in fifth. Five tremendous cows, thank you. A single entry here in our uh, production cow class, but a beautiful cow and certainly uh, deserves that blue ribbon. Thank you.
I just kept three cows here in contention for senior champion. Let's give these exhibitors of these three cows a round of applause. Three tremendous, tremendous guys. I'm going to go out, have one last look, and select your senior reserve and honorable mention in that order, and I'll give my reasons to follow. I'm going to stay with our two senior or our two age cows for senior and reserve senior champion. As I said in class, our first place age cow has a little more depth to her rib today. She's cleaner and dairier, a little more angularity all the way through than our staler cow here for reserve. Reserve over honorable mention, a very tight pair of these two cows. But I give the advantage in our second place age cow in that other quality today. She's got more height and width to her rear udder and strength to her median suspension than this beautiful balanced frame cow for honorable mention. Grand Champion Award today, we have Sarah Witt from Western Ag Credit who's going to make the presentation of the Grand Champion Award when it, when it falls. Again, I'd like to thank and congratulate all the exhibitors, breeders of these cows, the guys that take care of these cows every day. 
congratulate them. They had these cows looking tremendous all day. I'm not going to take much of your time. We had a beautiful heifer show. Tremendous representation right here. A heifer that's going to be a great cow eventually. Two great young cows for our intermediate champion, but when we have three senior champions like this, they will be grand reserve and honorable mention. Your two age cows followed by your five-year-old. Congratulations.
two exceptional groups in our produce. Our group in first over the group in second, just has an advantage in their utter texture, size and shape of teeth. Each of these cows have calved a couple more times as well, so uh, two tremendous groups. Thank you. Exceptional senior groups here. Our group in first, just so much more uniform than the rest of the groups. A group that has an advantage in just that width and the way they carry their udders higher above their hock and the group in second. Group in second over the group in third. Again, a little square frame group, a better legged group today. I prefer the set to their rear legs and these three really nice dairy cows here for third. Three exceptional groups. Thank you. Results in our senior best three females. First place goes to Utah State University, second the Pappy's Farms, and third John Connor. Congratulations.
any ribbons? What you do about ribbons? Mm -hmm. Massacre. In our breeders' herd class here, I'm going to go with our same first cry senior best three on the strength of those three cows over our group here in second. Group in second over the group in third. Yeah, those two heifers, beautiful legged heifers, they have a definite advantage in their feet and legs over our total group here in third. Thank you. Results in our breeder herd. First place goes to Utah State University. Second goes to Patton's Farm, and third goes to John Conrad. Congratulations. We now have the results of the Premier, the Banish Premier Meter, and Premier Exhibitor. Patton's Farms for Premier Reader, and Patton's Farms for Premier Exhibitor. Congratulations. Um, well, I'm just going to go straight to the track. Yeah. I just didn't want to miss the mile because that's what Ella was running. So, I think Ella. So, right, yeah, let's go as soon as. Again, I'll just go out and select a senior reserve in that order and I'll give my reasons to follow, but give these jersey exhibitors a round of applause.
our first place five year old be your senior champion a cow that just uh, carrying her udder a little higher up above her hock for having an extra calf she's a little showing us a little more venation all the way through and a little barrier today than our reserve senior champion here in our four year old congratulations <laughs> Yeah, we've got Ken Yun going to show up with them, so. Results in our senior champion jersey. No, she's. And our senior champion goes to Nate Chubb on BC Venable Sassy. No, she's going to stay for the And reserve also goes to Nate Chubb on BC Venable Sassy. Congratulations. All right, well, I'll be down there in just a little bit. No, I think they'll be good. We've got enough people now, I think. We should be fine. Okay. All right. Um, there you go. Okay. All right. Bye. Again, for Grant, I'm just going to go out and have one last look, and I'll select a Grant Reserve, an honorable mention in that order, and I'll give my reasons to follow. I don't know. Is it going to be Daddy or Grant? Oh, Grant. Okay. 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 champion will be your grand champion today and Cal that just so balanced beautiful frame that Cal that has a little more style she carries her under a little higher up above her hock than her senior champions for reserve and honorable mention congratulations Mom,
Premier Exhibitor and Breeder Award for the Jersey Show will go to uh, Chug, De Chug Jerseys. Results in our senior, Jersey best three-year-old, first place goes to Nathan Chuck, 
second Barry Evans and third is Elmas Congratulations. Oh, excuse me. First turn and third the Elmas Congratulations. Four really nice senior best threes. Our group in first over a group in second. Just as advantage maturity. Height width their rear runners today than this well made group in second. Group in second over the group in third. A group that's showing me a little more under quality today than this really nice group in third. Four tremendous groups. Thank you. this year uh, with her last qualifying lactation of 180 days or more. She had 2,450 pounds uh, ME of uh, milk, 977 pounds of fat, 698 pounds of protein. She was first in her class. Congratulations. What is this Thank you. going on? <laughs> but they're in every direction.
soon as this class is complete, Scott has asked if everybody would come up and see. We'll start uh, writing your checks, collecting everybody's checks before they go home. So. groups in our herd class, our group in first, a handy winner, a group that has with their mammary systems balanced to their frames. The group in second over the group in third, just a little nicer in their utter texture, definition of crease over this really nice group in third. Group in third over the group in fourth, just showing us a little more daringness all the way through. Four tremendous groups. Thanks for the chance to judge your show. I had a lot of fun. Thank you.